It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, April 28, 2020. Number one, recent polls are showing American voters are hopping on the vote by mail train before the November presidential election gets out the station. Leading Democrats, including Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, are spearheading an effort to include a vote by mail provision in the next stimulus package. Donald Trump doesn't like the mail-in vote plan and is encouraging House and Senate Republicans to vote it down. Number two, the White House is scrambling to put a new light on the chief executive, the president's handling of the coronavirus, the sinking economy, and his handling of the daily press briefings are bringing his popularity down. A USA Today poll released Monday shows a shift. Vice President Biden is now leading Donald Trump 44% to 38%. Number three, as the pandemic ravages long-term care facilities, the U.S. nursing home industry is asking states for immunity from lawsuits for the 15,600 facilities nationwide. Patient advocates are concerned that nursing homes accused of extreme neglect could avoid liability. The Lakers secured $4.6 million in aid through the government's Paycheck Protection Program. The franchise valued at more than $4 billion. And although they do have fewer than 500 employees, they've since returned the money. No other team has received aid from the program. Number four, the chairman of the board of Tyson Foods has stated the food supply chain is breaking. That's due to the coronavirus outbreaks in food processing plants. Even as Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue appeared at a White House press briefing last week to assure his department was working to keep the food chains moving, it's clear that it's not. There's no reason why the most productive food resource country in the world is not able to pivot to continue food, vegetable, and meat production. Number five, the second round of the application process for funds under the Paycheck Protection Program began Monday morning. The original program had a loophole allowing major corporations to apply for and receive millions of dollars in loans intended for small businesses to cover their expenses, including rent and employee salaries. The second round includes asides that call for greater access to PPP loans for smaller businesses who did not have the same relationships with banks as larger businesses. Join me today on Instagram Live at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, as my friend pop culture expert John Murray and I discuss today's top headlines and what he's doing to keep folks connected during the coronavirus. And that's what you need to know. For more information, go to SybilWilkes.com. Sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.